Look at the sides on it. Just awesome. Really, really cool. What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a long time, but we are back. I haven't really had a whole ton uh, to show you guys, but we're gonna take a look at some holdbacks this week. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back into the schedule, just things are so busy. Um, I wanna give a shout out uh, to Tristan Hornsby of Railway City uh, Reptiles. Congratulations on your first clutch. Um, he's in the Patreon, uh, over on our Patreon page, and he's been bugging me nonstop. And the deal was, once he hatches his first clutch, I'd make another YouTube video. So Tristan, this one's for you. Guys, all this information's in the description below. Uh, this week we're gonna take a look at some of the holdbacks we have from, from 2020. I mean, it's, uh, you know, some of these are growing up, some of these are really, really looking really good, and uh, I'm just, I'm excited. I don't have any 2021s to show you yet, but lots of 2020s, so let's just take a look at some of our highlights from last year. All right, guys, so we're gonna start this video off with a, uh, with a red stripe lavender albino. Um, this girl was a little slow to get started, she is doing awesome now. She's really starting to jump onto the food. Uh, really excited about this combo. At first we had thought this was a fire red striped lavender. Um, fire was, was definitely in the pairing as well as pastel. But I think that this is going to be just a red striped lavender. Amazing color on it. It's getting some of that like really rich orange flames. I hope that the camera picks that up. But it's... Uh, it, it's for sure uh, would be one of my favorite animals that we hatched this year. Just so unique looking, such a cool look. And I think with uh, the red striped lavender stuff, uh, there's lots and lots to do still. Um, I mean, I man, I can't wait to see some dark stuff in here. You get like Wookiee or Blackhead, red striped lav. Um, I mean, the sky's the limit, right? So, but that's the red stripe lavender albino. So here we move on to, hopefully she'll sit still. This is the uh, Black Pastel Orange Dream Spot Nose Clown. Zoom in on it there for you. I don't know if she's going to sit still for me or not. Uh, this girl is absolutely stunning. She is putting on some, some really good size. Yeah, zoom out. She's actually quite big. Um, she's putting on some really, really good size. I'm super happy with how well she's holding that color. I mean, obviously, when you get uh, away from pastel in clown, Aside from Desert Ghost, I mean, that seems to be the exception. But uh, when you get away from Pastel and Clown, you can really start to have clowns that age well. And I, I, this is no exception. It's, it's just a, a really, really... I hope the camera picks it up. But uh, if not, it's just got a lot of nice oranges. Again, black, that's from the Orange Dream. Then you get the Black Pastel, that's that sort of rusty color. And then the Spot Nose is giving you the pattern. Um, amazing base to build off of and amazing looking on its own. So, I mean, I, I'm really happy with the way this combo turned out. Look at the sides on it. Just awesome. Really, really cool. Anyways, that's the Black Pastel Orange Dream Spot Nose Clown. Then we move on to the uh, Butter, I, I, I believe it's Yellow Belly, Butter Yellow Belly Extreme. Um, it's likely going to prove to be tri-stripe, just based on the uh, the solid stripe down its back, and with uh, the, the extreme stuff, a lot of a lot of it is het tri-stripe. That's the extremist. Um, that's Ken Machik's line of of tri-stripe. But anyway, that's a uh, butter yellow belly extreme, likely extremist, and that's likely going to prove to be a het tri-stripe. But I love how how like blushed, not blushed, uh, like almost neon that stripe is. Got some really, really good contrast. I'd like to see this combo even without the tri-stripe part, just with Desert Ghost on it. See if we can make that pop even more. Here we move on to the Super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Spot Nose. And this girl is 100% Heck Clown. Um, I mean, there's not much to say about that. Just like crazy, crazy potential. Love that head stamp. If you'll see it. Yeah, look at that head stamp. That's the classic spot nose. And I mean, just having a snake that has super OD yellow belly and spot nose. I mean, Orange Dream yellow belly spot nose is a great, great way to work towards. Um, just, you know, 
something as simple as a, well, not that simple, but something like a Desert Ghost Clown to this would just, you know, insane clutch. Let alone if we can have a, maybe something like an Orange Dream Anchi Desert Ghost Clown by the time this girl's ready to go. And shoot for that, uh, you know, super OD, Enchi, yellow belly, spot nose, clown, het, desert ghost. Can't go wrong there. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, super OD, yellow belly, spot nose, 100% het clown. And here we move on to the blackhead fire lavender. This girl is significantly bigger and significantly more purple since the last time you guys saw her. Hopefully the camera picks up how purple that really is. But it's uh, it, it's insane looking combo. Like really, really cool. I can't wait to get into like the, the super blackhead labs. Um, I'm gonna hopefully we see some Wookiee Lavender stuff soon. Um, really, really cool. Super exciting, uh, you know, direction to be working. I, I've always been a huge fan of Lavender Albino. Um, you know, one of the limitations I always found with it was a lot of the stuff looked the same. You know, like it's it's always going to be a yellow and purple snake. You're never gonna get any other colors in there. Um, but that's true with all forms of albino, so, uh, it, there, there's limitations in that aspect, but what you can do with that yellow and purple is, is just crazy. And that is a, uh, a black, blackhead fire, lavender albino female. Um, she's staying here, guys. I've been asked a hundred times, so. Just love how purple that is. Here's a recent hatchling. And uh, unfortunately, it's in shed, uh, but you, as you can probably tell, it's a desert ghost. This is a chocolate yellow belly desert ghost, 100% het pied. And uh, really, really happy with this. We managed to prove out a uh, leopard yellow belly pied uh, to be het desert ghost. She was a 66, now she's 100. And, uh, and yeah, unfortunately, she's in shed. She's much, much nicer than this. I'll post her on Instagram once she comes out of shed. Uh, really, really pretty snake. These are really nice and normal black, and that's like a nice khaki kind of kind of color. Um, but unfortunately, when you do a video, you're uh, you're bound to have stuff in shed. But I thought she should get her, uh, you know, 15 minutes of fame because she's gonna go in the whole back rack, and you probably won't see her until she's on eggs. Here we move on to a pastel puzzle. Now, this is 66% Heck Clown, and I am very, very confident that it's going to prove Heck Clown. What you're seeing is the, the clown tends to bring these this dorsal and pinch it really tight, and you get this stripe down the animal. Um, we actually managed to hatch uh, some puzzle clowns this year, and they have that very, very similar uh, dorsal striping. So, I'd be, uh, I, I mean, I normally wouldn't be holding back a pastel puzzle, but I'm very, very confident this will prove Heck Clown. So very likely this is a pastel puzzle, 100% Heck for Clown, but as of right now, it's just a 66. Now here we've got one of the first hatchlings of last year. As you can see, she's putting on a ton of size, really good eater, really active as well. Doesn't want to just sit here for you guys. But this is a, uh, this is a spot nose, fire, yellow belly, and this is double hat, desert ghost clown. Uh, I mean, <laughs> wow. I mean, the potential with this animal is mind-blowing. Um, she's a great eater. I wish her sister was, you know, equally as enthusiastic about, about eating. But this girl's a really fantastic eater, putting on great size. And this could be one of those girls that ends up breeding at two years old, you know? Um, not very often do you get it, but uh, occasionally it does happen. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> I mean, uh, hopefully it's this girl because... This would be great to see on eggs shortly, but, uh, you know, we're still at least 12 months away from anything along those lines, but, uh, yeah. Fire, yellow belly, spot nose, double hat, desert ghost clown. And we move on to this girl. This is a chocolate GHI, 100% head desert ghost. Super dark, super rich colored, and check out the belly. Look at that. Now, they're... I believe there was, I didn't produce this snake, just a disclaimer, Matt Byram, Matt Byram Exotics, he produced this animal, I purchased it, um, but uh, I mean, there was spot nose in the pairing, I'm not 100% sure if it has spot nose or not, uh, but it is a fantastically dark, cool looking animal, um, Adam uh, McDougall from Exiled Exotics, who, uh, who works for us, 
Uh, make sure you guys go give him a follow as well. His information is down below. So he works for us. Woo, she is not happy. He works for us, and he said that this is his favorite animal here. He likes the really, really dark animals, and this is jet, jet black. So, such a cool look. One of his favorites in the collection, so, you know, she's got to get shown off too. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. We're going to be doing, uh, we're going to try and do at least bi-weekly. I don't know if I can keep up with the weekly schedule, but uh, we'll try to do at least bi-weekly videos for you guys. I know lots of people are curious what's going on here, and, you know, might as well show you guys. All right. Cheers. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, there will be lots, lots, lots more. Breeding season is well underway. We've got lots of ovulations, couple clutch clutches on the ground. Uh, if you want to follow along, best place to follow along with exactly everything that's going on is our Patreon page. Other than that, it'll be uh, uh, Instagram and um, Facebook. Not as much Facebook, mostly Instagram. Anyway, guys, I am super excited to show you guys what's coming. Uh, I mean, there's going to be just... I can't even explain it. Just, just wait. It's going to be by far our craziest season yet. Everything else is going to look like child's play. Anyway, guys, we will see you guys soon, and uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button.